You're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and uh, today's video I am going to cover the uh, Page Setup Manager. And in the last previous uh, few videos, I've covered the uh, Layout tab and how to create layout, uh, you know, viewports for paper space. So if you haven't watched those videos, I'd go back and watch those uh, to get a better idea of what we're doing here. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for that. Uh, but getting started here on layout tabs, uh, I created a new one here. Uh, just right click on a layer tab and you can hit new layout and it'll create, it'll pop up a new tab for you. Uh, it'll say like layout one or layout two. But this is a new one and I wanted to show you the page setup manager. So to get the page setup manager, you right click on the layout tab, go to page setup manager, and you want to make sure that the tab that you're on right now that you're viewing in, in paper space is highlighted so see I'm in layout one uh, I want to have layout one highlighted so that I can modify it otherwise let's say I go to layout cabinets which is uh, right down here next to layout one where my cursor is you'll notice uh, it's grayed out and you can't modify it so if you ever run into a situation where you're trying to modify a, a layout tab and you can't get to it because it's grayed out, you need to be on that layout tab. So just to give you an example here, we'll go to Cabinets, right click, go to Page Setup Manager. Now I've got Cabinets highlighted and you'll notice I can modify it. So that's how you do that. Uh, we'll go back to Layout 1, right click, Page Setup Manager. We're going to modify this and what you're doing here is you're giving the uh, the page setup for your plotter you're giving it a set of you know, preset configurations and I'll show you here in a little bit at the end of this video uh, why that you know saves you time so getting started on the uh, page setup we're just gonna set this up with a, a DWG to PDF alright and that would be the printer plotter so when I had a you know, if I were to go print this out afterwards, it's going to take the drawing and convert it to a PDF file for whoever I, my client might be. I can send that over to them, and they can print it off from the PDF uh, to their printer. So we'll just, just for this example, that's what we're using for the printer plotter. Now, it's not always going to be that way. You could set it to a printer, you know, set up on a network there at work, print it directly to that if you want. And it would be in your drop-down options here, um, if it's part of the network. We're going to set this to uh, a color table or a plot style table for pen assignments. This controls basically the line weight and color uh, on your drawings. And I'll show you here in a minute what I'm talking about there. And we're going to set the paper size here. So you got four different paper sizes that are common in uh, drafting. You, know, you got paper size A, B, C, and D. And for this example, we're just going to use the uh, ANSI um, B size paper. And if you're wondering what ANSI stands for, it's American National Standards Institute. Um, go ahead and select that. And this is a standard, okay, for B for sizes of paper that are used in drafting. So that's what ANSI is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set the plot to, uh, let's see here, for B size. We'll just keep it at layout for right now. Uh, okay, so we'll hit OK. Now, what you noticed is the paper size just got a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'll, I'll go back and change that again. Just change it back to uh, eight and a half by eleven. See how the paper size shrinks? That's because it's changing the actual paper size for you. <clears throat> go back up here. Set it to B. Now the other thing I want to show you real quick is these little dashed lines here. These little hidden lines. That's the border uh, that you have within your paper space to, to create your viewports 
and place your drawings on on the paper space so you have that border right there and it's going to capture everything inside this border that's what's going to be printed um, when you go to plot it you know to a printer or to you know converting it to a PDF so that's your paper space now for this example I'm going to load a title block real quick and the reason why I'm showing you how to change the paper space is because sometimes you're going to have title blocks that you can insert onto the paper space now for this one I have a title block here as an example for my uh, you know for school and they had us create some title blocks that you could use and you know if you're working for a company they're gonna have their own title blocks but they may have a B size a C size uh, an A size template that they use on their title blocks so you wanna choose the right title block when you pull it in uh, based on the paper size that you you know you, you set in your page setup manager so for this one it was B I brought in a B size title block and you'll notice that it fits right you know it fits nicely on the paper um, so that's page setup manager now that I have something on there though let's go back to page setup manager we're gonna modify layout tab again now I can set it to extents if I want and I can center the plot we'll go ahead and preview it real quick and that's what that's what it's gonna look like when I print it out okay so everything's nicely centered it's plotted for me um, and you'll notice too that was from the preset configurations and page setup manager so if I actually go to just plot this out right now look what is set up for me everything that I set up in that page setup manager is already preset so it's got the center of the plot uh, what the plot is extents all of that is preset for me so basically what you're doing here guys anytime let's say I wanted to print out like 10 different prints of this drawing I wouldn't have to go back every time I want to print it and change everything to what I had it set to you know for the first drawing so it saves you a lot of time it, it saves you from making errors because there's so much to change in here uh, you got to know it basically acts as a template for you so that way you're not sitting there second guessing yourself going God what did I set that to <laughs> when I printed it out on the printer uh, so it makes it more accurate and just increases the productivity for you and that's what companies like to see uh, so the page setup manager if you're if you're watching this video you can probably imagine how that's going to be beneficial to you right so we'll go ahead and get out of that um, that's really all I had um, other than I want to show you the difference on these color style tables these plot style tables and the pen assignments so right now I'm on default which was a pre-configured pen assignment that, that I created from school and it basically adjusted the line weights of the lines on the drawings everything's in black and white but let's just say we had none in there and we hit OK. Now that's that's part of my preset configurations. We'll go back to plot, continue plot, and you'll notice now that it's set at none. If I go preview, now everything is in color. And that's exactly the way it's going to come out on a printer, is in color. Okay? Now, granted, if you if you don't have a color printer, it's going to print black and white, obviously. But you might have some issues there, uh, just based on the pen assignment. Everything's just going to come out on one weight. Um, you won't have any depth to the drawing, or it's just not going to look as nice. Um, or it's just going to print it out in color, just like this. And most of the time, when you're drafting and you're uh, in the uh, the market, you know, or the industry, and this is stuff that I've heard from the teachers who've been teaching the classes to us on this they said it's, you're gonna print in black and white most of the time and then they're gonna have some depth to those drawings so it makes the drawing appear you know nice and neat and presentable to the clients but that's the page manager setup that's all I have for today if you find this uh, 
video beneficial, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty of playlists that I'm putting together on uh, basic and intermediate AutoCAD functions within the program like this. I also have videos on Reddit, which is a 3D modeling and rendering program uh, for architecture. Uh, and then uh, next semester, which will probably, you know, so I'll probably start releasing videos here in the next two months or so. We're going to start in on uh, Inventor, which is another parametric and design program for civil drafters. So I'll start releasing videos on that too. Um, but if you're new to this channel and you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe to the channel uh, because I, again, I'm showing uh, new videos on a consistent basis, updating it, and, and showing you some of the stuff that you can do with the programs, especially if you're wanting to get into the drafting field. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you. You're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com, and I'll talk to you guys later.